What's there to do when your soulmate leaves this planet? Other than trying to hold on to every good memory you possibly have. Try to fight through the pain of knowing that after spending over 30 years together, that person won't wake up next to you the next morning. Rick told me he met a soulmate in the woman he knew he would spend his life together with in June 20th of 1981. They dated until they were married December 19th of 1987. She was a tomboy of sorts. She graduated college with a degree in business administration and Rick would ultimately go into the trade of metal fabrication. They had two biological children and one adopted son. Missy was the most caring and giving person he knew. She loved the beach, horses, mountains, and her dream car was a 1965 red Mustang. I'm creating five memorials in her honor that'll be a surprise for family members, and I cannot wait to share with you more about this beautiful human.